22nd of May, 2005. My father was murdered by three men. Brutal and unforgiving. Now, only 10 years on, they're being released. Nick Bryant, Tom Shaw and George Kinley. Murderers set free. I've been waiting for them. Waiting for their release. I will avenge my father. Bring justice where the law failed to provide any. Even if it means taking them out one by one. Right from the start, I used two very prominent pieces of technology, Blogger and YouTube. Blogger was launched in 1999 and is a free blogging service that allows multi-user blogs with time stamped entries. This blogging website is technology I have used before, as I previously used it in my AS coursework. This allowed me to get posts done and posted efficiently with no hassle as I am used to the software. For the design of my blog, I decided on a flip card design as this appeared to be the easiest way to access the blog posts and in turn was the most aesthetically appealing design. As my blog progressed and I came to making my studio titles the logo for my production company became the background of my blog, cementing what type of blog it was and showing ownership. YouTube is a website that allows people to upload, view, rate and comment on videos shared around the world. To be able to post my videos on my blog, I first had to upload them to YouTube and again Having used this website before, with my AS coursework, I knew how to upload and link the video to my blog, allowing for me to actually post videos so that the creativity of my blog increased. To record both my video posts and my actual film trailer, and take photos for my ancillary tasks, I used a DSLR camera which is what I'm using to film this post in fact. A Canon 1200D DSLR camera allows for better quality footage and photographs producing a higher standard of video quality for the viewer. When filming my trailer I used manual focus so that I had control of what was in focus and out of focus. For example, my protagonist running towards the camera had to be in focus from far away and close up, otherwise it would give a shabby effect to an intense scene, lowering the standard of filming. To photograph my subject for my ancillary tasks, I set my camera onto portrait mode, which aided my setup and production of the photographs. I would then use for my poster and magazine front cover. When it came to editing videos and my film trailer, I used editing software called Premiere Pro. I am experienced in this editing software as I used it in my AS coursework. However, this time I explored colour grading, tempo, lighting and transitions more, as I had full control of how I wanted my trailer in particular to look. The experience I had with this software allowed me to be succinct in editing 
and gave me more time to focus in on the details to make sure every aspect fitted in at the right point. For example, getting the cuts in time with my music so that it didn't look sloppy or did not have a smooth flow to it. Being able to colour grade my film trailer made it look much more professional than if I had used raw footage. And this also helped me to stick to the conventions of a typical action thriller film trailer. With my research and planning videos and evaluation videos, Premiere Pro gave me access to be more creative with my videos, adding in music, other videos and photographs. To create music for my trailer, I used a program called GarageBand, which can allow you to create the notes yourself or use preloaded beats of music to create your own music. This program was completely new to me, so it took me a while to create a substantial piece of music that suited my trailer in terms of pace, genre and atmosphere. This I did in two parts, as part of my trailer was slow paced and the other part was fast paced, so I created two different pieces of music for each part. I then had to make the music coincide partially with the cuts in my film and play for the right amount of time for the next piece of music to come in or to fade out and end the trailer. At first, the music did not fit exactly in with the cuts in the trailer as my limited knowledge of GarageBand made it difficult to get every part exactly in time. So I then used Premiere Pro to adjust the cuts in my trailer to coincide with the beats of my music, which meant I easily worked around the problem via a program I had more experience in, allowing for my music to be parallel and so meet the conventions of a typical action thriller film. My studio titles for my film were made on After Effects, which is a digital visual effects, motion graphics and compositing application that is used a lot in filmmaking. My experience in this software was limited and so playing around with the options was a big part of my final titles. I learned the basic ways to animate the object, my logo, and layer two effects on as one, which made my titles more appealing to the viewer. I also learnt how to add colour to my logo. In this case, I chose a fire effect, which made my title stand out on the black background. I made the studio titles as my final addition to my trailer, which meant I needed it to last for a certain time in order for the music and footage to fit together in parallel, so the titles needed to be 9 seconds long to coincide with this. To overcome this problem, I elongated the length of time the titles animation played for, and then shortened it when it came to putting it on Premiere Pro. And overall, I believe from my limited knowledge in this program, I created interesting studio titles that served the purpose of advertising my production company. Particularly during the ancillary tasks of my coursework, I used Photoshop to make my poster and magazine front cover, as overall I had experience in this program, and it allowed me to make conventional media products that looked professional. This ranged from taking the background from one image and placing it onto my main image to creating layers of different effects to get the exact look that I wanted from both products. In terms of my trailer, I used Photoshop to create the titles in my film trailer, including the main title and the release date title that linked to my film poster as well. Included in this were my studio titles. This is because I used Photoshop to create my logo for my production company via simple shapes and lines to create the outline of my initials. 
Photoshop and Premiere Pro were the two media technologies I used the most as they contributed to a more creative and professional looking blog, post, magazine front cover and final trailer.